Today we're going to be looking at using AI to create ebooks. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload more videos. All right guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now here we are at ChatGPT. Now as you can see, we're in 3.5. I still haven't chosen to go over to ChatGPT4. And we also have over here, Discord. Now if you happen to have ChatGPT4, then you don't have to go away from here. You can just keep it as is. Now I'm going to be getting a prompt and I'll just read out to you what it actually says once I put it in. I'm wanting to create an ebook. Please write a detailed outline for an ebook about the benefits of the carnivore diet, the myths surrounding it, and what is the best way to move forward if you want to do the carnivore diet. Plus, I want at the end of the ebook a two week meal plan. Along with the meal plan, include recipes for each meal. Please include quotes from famous carnivore doctors like Dr. Ken Berry, Dr. Anthony Chafee, and Dr. Sean Baker. At the end, include an appendix for the quotes the doctors made. Okay, so that is what I'm going to be putting in here, and this is the one we're going to be getting it to create straight away. So I'll just pause the video while it's getting it. All right, so I'm going to have a look at the title itself. Unlocking the carnivore benefits, benefits, myths, and best practices. All right, that looks all right. I might even keep that title and put that in the cover. So then it's got here, brief overview of the carnivore diet, personal story of motivation for adopting the carnivore diet. Okay, so I can give my personal story in this one. And I haven't given ChatGPT that, but it's decided to put that in there. And if I wanted to, I could write that down myself or I could get ChatGPT to write it for me so that it understands why I have decided to join, go on the carnivore diet. Now I have joined the carnivore team, it basically have gone on the carnivore diet and it's quite a passion of mine right now, so that's why I'm doing this. And I've also created a carnivore channel as well called Carnivore Capers. So with that in mind, that would actually work really well for me. I could, I could easily write a page or two about my testimony as to why I decided to go carnivore. Okay, so let's have a look at what else you could do. Chapter one, understanding the carnivore diet. Well, let's get it to do a brief overview first of the, of the carnivore diet. So I'm just gonna copy that, place that down here and play, say, please write in detail, brief overview of the carnivore diet. We'll let it come up and write out what I wanted to write. So I said, if I wanted to, I could add my own testimony anywhere in here. I'll have a bit of a read through it and see where, what it says. And that is how I would go about doing that. Now let's go and have a look at the next part. Go to chapter one. We can actually copy all of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go chapter one in the first point. And then we go here, copy that. And I'm gonna just go here. Please write in detail chapter one and the first point only about, you go control V as I put that already in there. And all I have to do now is just go hit that and then allow it to write the, that part of the chapter up for me. And what it'll do is it'll write up probably about you know, 500 words or so, which is close on a page. And then with each point, you can then get it to do each point as it goes along. This will then hurry up and create a book around between 40 to maybe even 70 pages long, depending on how much information you wanted to include. You might have a read there and go, oh, it needs a bit more information here. Can you please add a bit more information here about this particular point. And you can continue doing that until you get the book to the way you want it. So let's move on to the next part, which is creating the ebook cover. Okay, so I'm over here to Discord, which is the, we're using Mid Journey in Discord. What I wanna do is I went over here and I wanna put this prompt right here in. Now remembering when you're in this one, you have to type in the word, we have to go forward slash, Imagine, and then hit space, and then we can type. We can then put our prompt in there. I want a photo of a cooked Scotch fillet steak sitting on a white plate on its own. 
aspect ratio or dash dash AR 916. I want that to be a vertical type of thing so because we're turning this into an ebook. So let's go there and we'll have a look and see what it creates. So I'm just going to pause the video until it's finished. Oh, look at that. They're all really lovely. So let's expand it up a little bit and have a, have a bit of a look at them. Okay. I really like this one. I think I'll go for this one. Okay, so clicking away from there. That is image number four. So let's go to this one here. Click on that. And that will then recreate the image itself. There we are. Now, if you want to expand it, all you need to do is click on that. And that will then explain, expand it. Now, well, something else I want to do is I want to open this in a new browser. So I just click on that. And what that will do is it'll expand it in such a way it'll make it easier to copy. Now, I'm going to just hold down the control key. I'm going to use my mouse button. I'm just going to scroll back just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. Oops, too much. Go back one more. There we go. That's good. Now I can copy that entire thing. Now I'm just going to go grab this one here, which is the snipping tool. Now, and once we do that, all you have to do is hit new. And I'm just going to take it just inside that area just there. I don't want to include any black lines if I can avoid it. So be very careful how you drag that across. Try and keep with inside of that if you can. There we are. Beautiful. That is lovely. In just a moment, it's going to come up with the image. And we're going to save this image. Be right back once I've saved it. All right, well, I've now saved that. Now, one of the things you can also do is once you've created everything you want to do on here, remembering all you really need to do is just copy. And then you can paste that straight into a Word document of your choice. You might have a Word document that has, you might have a Word document that you can choose that you can put it all into and so forth. But let's go and have a look at how we can then adjust this image and create some text on it and just make it look really nice. First thing I want to do is I'm going to be grabbing a PowerPoint presentation because this is where I'm going to be doing a lot of my editing. You can even use PowerPoint to create your entire ebook and save it as a Word document if you wish to. But I personally think that just doing the cover for this area would be the best way of doing it. I think if you try, try to make the entire ebook, it may throw it out a little bit. So you're be way better off just using this section for the front image. Now what you need to do is go over here to design. So I might go format layout first. Go here to layout. Go down here to blank. Click on that. There we are. Now we're going to go over here to design. And over here to the right hand side, you can see where it says slide size. Click on that. We're going to go down here to where it says custom slide size. Click on that. Then over here, we're going to be going 8.5 by 11. 8.5 by 11. There, that's better. Ensure fit. There we are. That's better. Now we have to do is go over here to insert. Go over here to picture. This device, and then we have to just go and grab the image in which we where we just saved it. Okay, so here we are. We're just going to go here to the one I saved it. This is called steak on plate. Let's grab that and we'll pop this in here. Now it'll look a bit strange when we first put it in there because it won't fit exactly the way we want it. So we'll just wait for it to go in and we'll see what we can do here. We can take this up to the very top. And the best part about this is we can actually drag this off screen till it covers the entire page. Now that is absolutely beautiful. So what we need to do now is I'm going to go over here to the home section just here. And I'm going to grab this little square rectangle marker just there. And we're going to be putting that across here. Now, what was the name of that ebook that they wanted to call it? What was it called? Let's go back up here. Unlocking the carnivore diet. Let's just grab that. We'll pop that straight onto the cover. Let's, before we do that, let's put this onto a new notepad and then we'll transfer it across to the cover. Okay, so I'm just going to place that in there. The reason we do that is so that it doesn't go dark on the outside. So let's copy that. I know when we put it into a Word document, it goes a bit funky. So 
I'm suspecting because Microsoft owns this, it might happen the same, might do the same thing. Now what I need to do is go right click and then scroll down to where it says edit text. We click on that and then we can just go control V unlocking the carnivore diet. Now, of course, that's not going to be big enough. So we just have to adjust the height and size of that. Just go back over to the home section. And of course, we're going to just adjust the sizing. I'm sure you know how to do all this part. I'm going to go up here to say 40. And with this particular one, I don't want a blue square there or blue rectangle. What I'm going to do is go shape format. In fact, what I might even do is right click this. Go down to the bottom where it says shape format. Click on that. And over here where it says fill, we click on that. And then you'll see where it says transparency. Oh, well, first thing, I'm going to change the color to black. Black. Then I'm going to change the transparency down to about probably 70%, give or take. That'll do. Unlocking the carnivore diet. Now, also, another thing we're going to need to do is click on there. And then over here where it says shape format, go up to this section just there. Click on the drop down arrow and go over here where it says no outline. And there we have that. And that is absolutely beautiful. Another thing we might want to include is over here, we'll just get the rest of the name of this book Benefits, Myths, and Best Practices. So we'll just copy that. And put that into the text document. Click on that. So we're just going to go control V. Then if it's myths and best practices, we'll copy over the top of that. We'll make that a subheading directly underneath it. So we'll click on here and we can add that just under here. So let's add a text document to the text just there. Click that just there. We go control V. And of course we have to adjust that. We'll centralize that. We'll adjust that to being white. Now you can also make that a bit bigger if you want to, if that's a bit too small for your liking. I might make that about 28, yeah, 28 will do. And of course, if you have other things you'd like to put in here, for example, meal plan and recipes included, you can add that as well. I'm just going to quickly go do that. But there you have it. You can also do this in Canva if you wish to. You don't have to do it in Word. You can do that in Canva if that's if you feel that's going to be an easier way for you to do it. And then all you need to do in this particular case is click on the ex the actual image itself, go hit down control and then hit A. And then the reason you do that is so is it selects everything because control A selects all. And then you go control G to group it all together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click over here. And then I'm going to be saving save as picture. So click on that. And this can literally be my ebook cover for when I create my ebook. So when I decide to start uploading everything onto my Word document and start formatting it into a Word document, I can then use that as the front cover. Now, I'm now going to go over here and add this to my image folder, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're going to do once we're here, let's say, for example, you want to put it into a Word document. Go here. And if you want to be able to do it, a lot of times when you go to put an image into a Word document, it won't format properly. So let me show you how to quickly do this. So let's go over here to insert. We're going to go picture this device. Click on that. Okay, so as you can see, this is the ebook. Now, if I was to try and stretch that out, it's only going to go to the right and it won't let me put it all the way to the top corner. So to make this happen, you can click on this little square just here, or you can right click on the actual image itself and scroll down to where it says wrap text and we can put it in front of text. There we are. And then what we need to do now is we can grab this and we can take it up to the top left corner. Now I'm going to shrink this page down a bit so you can see a bit better. We take that down. There we are. Now you can also grab this all the way over here to the left. Now, even though it doesn't necessarily fit properly, it still looks really good the way it is. Now, actually, it's about the same as what we would have had had I gone over and actually 
than what I should have done, which was crop this image. I didn't crop the image. That was the thing I forgot to do. So to crop the image, all we have to do is click on that. Go over here to picture format. Go over here to the right hand side. Hit crop. We'll hit that one just there. We can hit crop. And it'll allow us to be able to crop it. Now to do this, all we have to do is scroll down to the bottom of this page. And as you can see, let's grab that, drag it up till you reach the bottom of the page. There it is, right there. Now we have to do is click off the page and it brings it up. And then all I have to do literally is go save as image and it'll be saved as the image you want. So I'm gonna just save that image the way I had it, save as picture and just save it wherever you want. Okay, so there's that option as well. Okay, so here we are. What we're going to do is we're just going to go insert. We're going to go picture this device. And then we're going to go into the folder where we have the image stored. And we're going to bring that across to this area just here. So this happens to be the one I want. So I'll click on that. Now what I plan on doing here is I'm going to go right click. Scroll down to where it says wrap text. And we're going to be putting it in front of text. So we click on that. And then I just have to grab this and take it once it grabs it. All I have to do there is just get it, take it up to the top left hand corner. And then all we have to do is just drag that down to the very bottom. So that includes it all in there. Whoops, too far. There we are. Let's click away from there for one second. Oh, okay, we need to make sure we bring it down so it fits within the image. There we are. You can stretch it down just a little tiny bit if you wish to just to make it work. There we are. Now we might also want to drag it a little bit to the left so that it's more centralized. There we are. Okay, that's now our ebook cover. And when you go down here, you're going to see that there's text just there. We can scroll down with that and take it to the next page if we want to. Doesn't really matter. It'll take it to the next page and that'll give you a new page that you can start on. But in the meantime, I'm going to grab that and bring it straight back up here again. There we have it. And now you can start on a new page and you can start adding all the text you want in here. I would highly suggest that when you do, create a disclaimer or get ChatGPT to create one for you. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing? And also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this method. Now, also too, right here is a video I believe you might like. Right here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here, well, there's an image of my head. And if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.